How many times have you been arrested with jail? Here in Louisville. I've been in jails across, across south. Uh, the worst jail, I went, <laughs> worst jail I was in was in Jackson, Mississippi, a place they call Parchman. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was horrible. They marched us that night, and it was dark all through uh, mud, water. And tell, and tell me why you were arrested first. And uh, then... Parading without a permit, uh, demonstrating on private property, uh, just all kind of nonsense little charges. Okay. Uh, here, uh, the same thing, parading without a permit, uh, uh, obstructing uh, uh, pathways and that kind of thing, you know. Uh, and during the times, the 37 times I was arrested here, majority of those times was doing open housing, public accommodation marches. So you've been arrested 37 times in Louisville? In Louisville. And then you've been arrested other times in other parts of the country? In, in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, I've been to prison in Georgia. Uh, I've been to prison in Alabama. I've uh, been to Parchman. Uh, let's see, where else did I go to jail at? I've been to jail in South Carolina. And I've been to jail in Washington, D.C., moving up south. <laughs> I was arrested several times in D.C. Uh, we were then uh, fighting for the rights of the Haitians. Well, I was arrested out of the University of Louisville, trying to get them from, to divest from South Africa. So mm -hmm. I've been around. And, and I said to somebody today when we were talking about being arrested, uh, in the beauty shop, and I said, yes, it's good to be arrested for something that's good. When you're arrested and you can feel good about yourself, you've been arrested for doing good work. Just being arrested for drugs or being intoxicated on the streets or snatching somebody's handbag or shoplifting in some store, that's not good. I said, because it follows you the rest of your life. You may think they tear it up or you get it expunged, but every once in a while they can use it when they get ready. I said, now when my son, Michael, had him with me one night, Mike was about 10, I think, 11, the, all the young people had a rally at the Memorial Auditorium. Uh, Dr. King was coming in to 18th and Chestnut, to West Chestnut Baptist Church. Reverend Daniels wasn't there then, it was uh, Dr. G.K. Alford. Right in the middle of Dr. King's speech, a note was passed to him that they had locked up over 300 children at the Memorial Auditorium. We immediately cut the service and got in line and marched all the way up because it, they put them in the Children's Center, but we marched all the way up to 7th and Jefferson. We took over the whole streets from Market Street, Jefferson, 7th Street, all. Oh, it was so full of people, it looked like a sea of nothing but people in support of releasing those children. And of course, some of us went to jail that night ourselves. I was the one that went to jail that night. And because they had locked up Michael too, I couldn't get him out of jail. So uh, Reverend Lesser, he would go to the jails too to help get the children out. Bimbo, he was a bail bondsman, Claude Bimbo. He was a, a bail bondsman and he would get us out. But when they got everybody out, uh, bless her heart, uh, she's passed on, God rest her soul. Sherry Bryant Hampton's mother. She was in jail with me, Ruth. Ruth Bryant. <laughs> Ruth was a, she's another strong one. Ruth was a strong character, I tell you. And uh, uh, they locked Ruth up and me. I was in the same cell with Ruth. And uh, the, uh, they got out. They were getting out. Bimbo got them. And he said, Mr. Jones, he said, I can't get you out. I said, why not? He said, well, they got another charge on you. And I said, what charge have they got, Mr. Bimbo? He said, they just you charged with contributing to the delinquency of a minor. So. And that was because you had your son Because involved. I had my son. <laughs> they, had, <laughs> they had Mike. And, but we soon got released and everything. But, you know, it, it, was, it was no bother.